Hi, my name is Chris from AV Express, and today we're here with the Aon 40112 Full Motion TV Wall Mount with long extension for 32 to 65 inch TVs weighing up to 70 pounds. And today we're going to show you how to install it. And we appreciate your thumbs up and your likes on this video, and hope you will subscribe to our YouTube channel featuring how to and informative product videos like this one. We also welcome your feedback as to how we can improve our products and services. So the Aon 40112 or AV Express part number 104162 will attach to a single wooden stud or a concrete or masonry wall. So as we're going to install ours to a wood stud, we'll use the four inner mounting holes. If you're going to install this mount to a concrete or masonry wall, you will use the six outer mounting holes. The Aon 40112 features a long extension of 29 inches and supports TVs ranging from 32 to 65 inches in size. The far-reaching extension of this mount will allow you to swivel your TV left or right or even into another room through a doorway since it reaches so far. To begin, there are a few tools you will need to complete this installation. A level, a pencil, a T-square, a drill, and a quarter inch drill bit, a stud finder, measuring tape, a metric socket set, and a Phillips screwdriver. Now first, let's establish the ideal location and viewing height for your full motion TV mount. This will depend on the height and the distance from your viewing area. Let's get started. Your mounting height will be contingent on a few factors, whether you are standing or sitting when you're watching TV, and whether your viewing area is far away or up close. If your TV is farther away, you may want to place it at a slightly higher angle for comfortable viewing. Next, we're going to measure the distance from the floor at which you will be watching TV. If you are sitting, this will be around, say, 40 inches, standing about 60 to 70 inches from the floor. This distance from the floor will be the center of your TV once it is installed on the wall. Next, using your stud finder, locate the center of a nearby wood stud where your TV mount is to be installed and mark the center of this stud. On the same stud, you're also going to mark the desired height at which your TV will be installed. Next, align the middle hole on the back plate of the mount with the pencil mark that is the desired height of your TV. Then, we're going to mark the three remaining holes with a pencil. Next, pre-drill all four mounting holes using a quarter inch drill bit, ensuring to drill straight, not crooked, as this can cause premature failure. Next, slide your washers onto the lag screws and place your full motion TV mount against the wall and by hand, thread the first lag screw into the mount, taking care to ensure that the mount is level. Next, thread the other three leg screws by hand, and then tighten them securely to the wall with a 14 millimeter socket. The Aon 40112 is now affixed to the wall. Next, we will attach the adapter plate to the back of our TV. This swivel mount will accommodate all visa sizes from 100 by 100 to 400 by 400 millimeters. However, for larger visa sizes 300 millimeters and 400 millimeters square, the adapter wings must be used in conjunction with this mount. If your visa size is 100 by 100 millimeters or 200 millimeters square, the adapter wings are not needed and the TV can be installed directly to the adapter plate. To begin, select the proper mounting hardware from the included hardware kit that will fit into the four threaded holes on the back of your TV. Once you've located the correct hardware, make sure the screws are not too long or too short and thread properly into the back of your TV. If you do not need the adapter wings that are included, simply thread all four screws through the adapter plate into the back of your TV, but leave them a little loose so they can catch the channel on the top of the adapter plate. Once you have done so, install the bottom two screws through the adapter plate and tighten them securely. Since our TV has a larger 400 by 400 millimeter visa pattern, we do need to use the adapter wings and we'll show you how to do this. Next, to install the adapter wings to the back of your TV, make sure the studs are facing you. And it's important to note that on some televisions like ours here, the power cord may be in an area where the adapter plates will have to go. So you may have to use the included spacers that are in the hardware kit to offset your screws and raise the adapter plates away from the back of the TV. Next, with a Phillips head screwdriver, tighten the appropriate hardware in to the back of your TV. Be sure not to over tighten. Now lift the back of the TV up to the adapter plate and note this portion of the installation will require two people. 
we're going to hook the top two studs into the channels on the adapter point. Next, attach the nuts and the washers onto the bottom two studs and tighten them securely into place. Lastly, if your TV is not completely level, loosen the three screws on the front of the adapter plate slightly, level your TV as needed, and then retighten them once your desired setting is achieved. After that, you can add the decorative covers that will conceal all of the installation hardware we've installed on the wall. Now that our installation is complete, we can pull the Aon 40112 a full 29 inches away from the wall. This will allow most 55 inch TVs to turn 90 degrees in either direction. When recessed close to the wall, the Aon 40112 carries a slim profile. The TV will always recess to the center position, which is really nice for viewing at this point, or a clean look during storage. That concludes our installation of the Aon 40112 Full Motion TV Wall Mount. If you have any questions, concerns, or need some help with your installation, give us a call at 877-302-8397. Or visit us on the web to see our full product line at www.av-express.com. We want to thank you for watching and thank you for shopping with AV Express.